what up? Big Herc 916, positivity, motivation, never settle for average. You know how we do it over here. Ain't nothing average about this channel. And go to BigHerc916.com, pick you up some merch, represent, and wash your ass. Because ain't nothing worse than a smelly butt. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Shout out to my man, Andrew and Tristan Tate. Top G. Glad to see you out, brother. When I was in jail, I focused on doing push ups and reading the Quran. When I am home, I will focus on doing push ups and reading the Quran. Long live the top G. Glad to see the brothers out, man. I know how it is up in there. I've been in there multiple times and um, it ain't nothing nice. The food is horrible. The humiliation is horrible. And the mentality is horrible. No charges filed. These dudes is still uh, being scrutinized for something that's merely accusations. To all the beta boys out there, you know what you can get. Straight haters, mad because you hate to see somebody winning in the game of life. Somebody who strives to elevate the consciousness of other young men. Two individuals who stand by something, who have truths, who have values, who have morals. And um, yeah. Justice still hasn't been served because they still are dealing with the bullshit, but due process, man, no matter how you look at it, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, man, you just ride down and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, I, I'm just I'm just giving props or props is due, man. I like to see people winning in the game of life. You know, I met the brothers, and when I met them, very humble individuals, uh, very sincere, no victim mentality, and as far as having walked through the fire and, and, and lived it, these two guys are the epitome of what it means to be a man in life. You know, responsibility. Somebody who stands for something. You know, a lot of you guys, if there was something going down, you would take off and run. You wouldn't stand up for your mother. You wouldn't defend your sister. And your wife, your girlfriend, you would leave her in the dirt because you don't have that in you. But yet you do have it in you, but you just refuse to acknowledge it. And as long as we have men like Andrew and Tristan Tate out here pushing that narrative, I'm a supporter, man. Anybody who stands by something, who's willing to put their, their reputation on the line and, you know, they're going to always try to defamate a character of somebody who doesn't go along with the mainstream, somebody who challenges the system. Anytime you speak out where others silently acquiesce, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to label you, man. They're going to, they're going to go after you. They're going to figure out a way to try to destroy you financially publicly humiliate you but at the end man life is about values and if you're not willing to stand by something that means you you will basically fall for anything I learned that a long time ago life is not it's not a lollipop man it's not it's not a handout Things that are worth having, you have to fight for. You have to be proactive. And whether it's dealing with a confrontation, whether it's dealing with adversity, everybody has went through wrongs. Everybody has seen something or experienced something that they felt uh, made them feel some kind of way that's that's just a part of life 
You can't get around that, man. You know, whether you, you don't like the way somebody talked to you or maybe you felt like, you know, you grew up in a privileged background, but your parents didn't pay attention to you or you didn't have no parents, but you still made it happen. That's just, I mean, dude, everybody has a story. Everybody has a story. And it's a matter of what you want to do after you have went through that story. And if you want to vindicate yourself, otherwise you can continue to be a victim. Victim mentality is easy to, to hold on to. Doesn't take much, just takes little or no effort in, in trying to own that situation. That's just simply breathing air. Once you own up to something, you own that which you thought controlled you. And if you can't control your mind, then you're pretty much done. Because without control of your mind, whatever you see on social media, whatever somebody tells you, you're going to react to it because you're weak. And you don't want to act like you have some type of self-control. Self-control is what keeps a civilized society civilized and productive. It's self-control. Knowing that you have the ability to do something, but you don't because you, you're able to rationalize. You're able to look at a situation and think before you act. You're not an emotional bitch. That's the difference. And until we can get back to that, and there are a lot of you young, strong men who are recognizing now what Top G was talking about and about what it means to be conscious and to be able to look at situations and determine whether or not something requires your duty. You're not going to pick up a camera and film somebody getting robbed or some woman getting assaulted. You know, it's your duty to go and bust their head, split their wig. That's what a man does. They're the burning building and, and there's a child inside. You go and find a way to get that child out of there because that's your duty. There's nothing toxic about that. The only thing toxic is when somebody wants that masculine person to be their slave, to be their bitch. That's toxic. Making a real man try to do your dirty work why you sit around and cut this little, this little beta boy. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, man, shout out to the Tate brothers, Tristan and Andrew Tate. Glad to see you guys up out of there, man. I know, you know, any prison is a dirty place, man. And I can only imagine, you know, the type of shit you had to deal with up in there. But, um, hey man, Big Herc 916. Fresh out. Hey, man, we send our love. Subscribe and represent. Like the channel. Go to BigHerc916.com and purchase you a bar of soap, one of the books I've written, a hat, a beanie, a t-shirt, tank top, or some detail spray for your car. Hello. My name is Big Herc 916 and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today Wash Your Ass Soap and this one in particular is Butt Naked Scrub but I also have Festival, Oatmeal Milk and Honey, You're Making Me Crazy, um, Monkey Farts and all these scents smell very good. They will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself so if you can go to bigkirk916.com you can pick you up a bar and my goal is to help america combat funk Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916 
contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.